Hello and welcome to today's Cosmic Connection, where we're going to look at today's planetary movements and see how their energies and influence may guide us through the day. Today we are looking at Sunday, October 15th, 2023. In the early hours of the morning, we see the moon now in void of course, signaling a transformative energy as it connects with Pluto in a challenging square aspect. This connection between our raw, inner, emotional, intuitive self and our center of transformation, the connection we hold to our cycles in tension, in a challenging square aspect, right after the solar eclipse in Libra yesterday, is really signaling for us to decide how we are going to move forward into our transformations. For each of us have it experience the eclipse energy in different ways. For some, we have felt transformed to move in new ways, opening up to new cycles of existence and growth. For others, we have stepped into a new cycle of healing where we have allowed the past to go and have begun to plant the seeds of our own. For others, there has been a break, a need to move, a need to remove a relationship, a habit, a behavior, a thing from our lives allowing us to move into a more balanced cycle where we support our inner growth. For others, it has opened us up to a new line of communication that has enabled us to connect to ourselves and others in new revolutionary ways. This shift we felt yesterday, this shift that came with the solar eclipse in Libra, that we began to move into today is asking us to make a decision and to take action. The moon represents our inner self, our being, our being that we truly are, connecting us to our feelings and the energies our emotions hold. This moon is in void of course, is uninfluenced by any zodiac energies, and is seen in its raw power. The moon, it has also just begun to illuminate, moving into its new moon phase at 1% illumination and kicking us into this new cycle of growth that was opened at the new moon in Libra, thus bringing us into connection with our inner creation and the things we want to grow. A perfect time to plant seeds of growth that will enable and support us in our next transformations, our next movements for, forward. Pluto is a planet of transformation, the connection to the natural cycles of being, the energies of endings from beginnings and beginnings from ending, the energy of transformation from the core that often sees us rising from the ashes of our past. These energies meeting in a square aspect, an aspect where two energies meet each other in challenge, asking for compromise to happen to enable them to turn a corner and work together. This aspect of often involves looking at things from a different perspective, seeing both sides of the story in order to digest and understand from this place of understanding where we can look at the things that need to come together as their own. We're able to see where we need to make changes and take action in order to bring them together. So when we look at, our inner self in its wholeness and our transformation in its wholeness. We can see how these energies coming together are going to enable us to make a decision to change, to bring two aspects into being. This meeting of our inner self with the energies of change at the start of this new lunar cycle is very symbolic and really asking us to change, to balance, allowing us to take accountability for ourselves, enabling us to see where we stand and where we want to go and the changes we need to enact to get there. This is the perfect connection that will aid us in making the choices we need to make to ensure we walk our path our own way, allowing us to find balance in the chaos of our world. 
This transformative aspect is really asking us to accept change, to embrace change, and to act in order to achieve change. Asking us to make changes that come from our heart, our inner knowing, and where we truly want to go. Next, we see the moon move into Scorpio. Scorpio is the fixed water sign and the most grounded of the water signs, allowing us to dig deep and bring things to the surface for acknowledgement and release. This sign is very mysterious, allowing us to connect to our inner knowing, our intuition, and enabling us to be guided by our inner waters, allowing us to explore the fixed energies, the fixed emotions we hold. This will allow us to see our reactions and actions and connect them to the emotions we hold, encouraging us to make the changes we need, seeing the energy that our emotions hold. We see this new moon, this 1% illumination, illuminated moon in Scorpio, making three connections throughout the rest of the day. The first is a harmonious trine with Saturn in Pisces in retrograde motion, followed by a conjunction with Mars and ending with a sextile with Venus in um, Virgo. Bringing this loving connection, this loving connection to our actions and the boundaries and structures we hold, allowing us to process the cycle past and bring things into being from a place of understanding and love. Saturn in Pisces has been all about bringing fluidity to our structures, our boundaries, the ways we hold ourselves. This has allowed us to bring adaptation to the things we do to support ourselves, allowing us to change the support mechanisms we hold and use on a day-to-day -day basis. This has enabled us to take action that is best from for our current self and has allowed us to make the changes to the habits and behaviors that we have wanted to hold on to, but we knew that we needed to release to move away from the past. It has allowed us to step into the flow of our lives aiding us in understanding the things that are going on around us and incorporating what we need into the structures of who we are. In retrograde motion, Saturn has been looking at the foundations of our being and allowing us to see where these structures originate from. This has allowed us to see the foundations of our being that have been built from a place that is no longer supporting who we are. The foundational conditionings we used in times to survive that limit, limit us now in our growth. This has allowed us to bring flexibility to our structures to aid us in replacing our foundations with our own beliefs and our own ideas. Gaining from our own understanding of the cycles we have gone through, using the things that we have learned to better our foundational self. This powerful transit has been aiding us in supporting ourselves foundationally from a, from a practice of routines, behaviors, and habits that have allowed us to process, adapt, recover, and grow. Really bringing these boundaries and habits into a cycle. Pisces, the end of the zodiac, the beginning of a new cycle. Retrograde, the inner motion. Saturn looking at our abilities to build boundaries, to digest information, and put things into action. This connection to this transformative new moon, transformative by its connection to Scorpio, who is connected to Pluto, and our earlier connection of the moon with Pluto. This connection to the transformative new moon in harmony is going to allow us to see these inner structures and how they have allowed us to grow in our transformative self, allowing us to move into our newest, newest self in a way that is supportive from deep within. We have been working on being our truest selves. We have been acknowledging ourselves and stepping into our newest forms, learning to grow day by day and incorporating things into our being and releasing things out of our being. Now it's time to see where we can support ourselves foundationally and bring these energies into our growth. We are harmonizing the process that strengthens us in order to bring inner expansion and connect, connection to our deepest soul. 
this powerful harmonizing aspect is going to soothe us into this next window of growth by allowing us to see where we are supported and harmonizing our support mechanisms to align with the seeds we want to grow. Really asking us to bring those supportive foundational changes into place we need in order to process and reflect so that we can step into this new cycle supported from within. As the moon aligns with Mars, it brings us into our transformative action, the actions that are perfect to bring change. Conjunctions tie energies to go together, so this alignment of our inner self, our inner self, the moon, and our action, Mars, is going to push us into action, action that comes from deep within and is in alignment with our inner emotional self. This is perfect to bring us into the actions and steps forward we need to take. Mars has just moved into Scorpio last week, so its energies are still new here, connecting and grounding in our being and actions. Mars in Scorpio is about transformation, about transformative action. Reinforcing this overall energies of transformation that we have been walking through. Mars in Scorpio is about getting to the bottom of things, the root, and bringing things up to be changed and transformed. It's about digging things up in order to release what is no longer in alignment and fixing those things that support. It is an energy that is very active and supported as Mars feels comfortable in Scorpio. These energies aligning and working well together. This transit is going to drive us into taking action for change can only occur if we take steps forward to make change happen. This alignment of our inner self and our active self in this sign of transformation, the transforming the self from our depths, is really going to activate us to make changes, to dig deep, aligning our actions with our emotions, transforming how we relate to our emotions and bring their power into play. For emotions are energy and motion, and they hold a very powerful connection to how we show up in our world. Mars the planet of action, drive, and how we move forward, aligning with our inner self to bring us into transformation. A perfect transit, transit to support the changes that have been going on, the shifting energies we are working through and encouraging us to step forward. Before we see this um, before we see the moon form this sextile with Venus, we first see the sun in Libra, still very close to the moon, forming a quinquex, a variable connection with Uranus in Taurus in retrograde motion. The sun is the representation of our outer self, our physical being, the self others see shine. Uranus is a planet of freedom, of originality, of being our true self. So this connection of the outer self in Libra and the sign of balance harmony and connections we hold with each other, forming a variable connection with Uranus, our freedom to be ourselves in Taurus, the grounded fixed earth sign is going to bring about this energy of grounding ourselves into change, grounding ourselves into our being, grounding ourselves into our cycles of growth and evolution. For some, this is going to allow us to see ourselves for who we truly are, seeing how the relationships we hold influence us and how we act in our own, encouraging us to simply be, be our ever-changing soul. For others, this is going to illuminate where we are acting and expressing ourselves in ways that do not align with our truest self. 
This will allow us to look at why we are acting like something else. For others, it is going to confront us with the freedoms we long to have and how we can bring them into being. For others, it is going to encourage us to ground in our being, to be ourselves. For others, it is going to... Ooh, I read that. Uh, as Uranus is in retrograde motion, this journey through the underworld, the deep and hidden layers of ourself and the psyche, it is going to be a very personal connection from deep within. One that is going to free you to be your best self. So this inner connection of our original true being with our outer expression of that being is really going to be variable to how we are connected with ourselves. A very pow powerful transit that is going to aid us in ensuring the actions we are taking, the seeds we are planting are for ourselves, for our freedom. And not because we want to please someone else. We want to act like someone else. We want to be like someone else. This is really freeing us up to act in ways that allow us to shine in our balance, shine in our self, shine in our abundance. It's all about embracing our ever-changing self and seeing ourselves in the present, untainted by the future to come or the past that has been, allowing us ourselves to shine in balance enabling us to be our truest self. Lastly, we see the moon form a sextile with Venus in Virgo. Venus represents our relationships and how we give and receive love. While in Virgo, our love takes a sensible turn as we bring some analytical practical energy to how we see and express our love. Virgo is the energy of digestion, taking information from all around us and bringing it together into understandable forms. This is going to allow us to analyze our relationships and how we interact in them to allow us to see where we are in alignment with our abilities to love and the values we have. This is going to allow us to dissect our relationships and see how they influence and affect us and how we influence and affect them. This is going to allow us to get to the nitty gritty of our relationships, but it could cause us to become a bit critical. Remember, no one likes criticism, so remember to approach any analysis from a place of love. You can decide to leave or cut off relationships without being overly critical. It's about taking care of yourself and simplifying things so that you can see the underlying connection. This is going to allow you to remove those toxic relationships or elements from your relationships, including the ones that you add, the ones you hold, your toxic traits, by allowing us to see them as they truly are and make adjustments to bring more compassion and empathy to where we stand. This transit is going to be very powerful in aligning our, our relationships and ensuring we ourselves are giving love unconditionally. This supportive connection between our inner transformative self and our grounded love is really going to give us a big loving energetic hug that is going to allow us to see the depths of our love and the depths to our relationships, really connecting us to our inner being and those whom we have contact with. This is going to allow us to align those relationships that support our inner growth and illuminate those who do not. This connection to this new moon in transformation, moving into growth with our love, our center of love, our heart chakra in the power of Virgo, the power sign of Virgo, is really connecting us back to our soul, to our inner being, to our original self in order to aid us in bringing love and balance to ourselves and the relationships we hold. A very powerful transit that is going to support us in loving ways. Really ending our week with this power of growth, of connection, of loving ab abundance that is allowing us to stand in our power, in our sovereignty, in our own, asking us to love ourselves and simply be, and allowing us to give from that loving inner self. A powerful day to aid us in our transformations with this impact of Pluto, this movement into 
Scorpio. A powerful day to aid us into the transformations we have found as this energy around us continues to change and shift, allowing us to connect to our inner self, our transformative self, and align our actions and our boundaries to aid us in this changing growth. We have connected to our original self in order to ensure we are acting from our own and been encouraged to love ourselves without condition, to bring this love and expression into our relationships and seeing how our relationships can aid our growth, allowing us to open up to the cycles of change as we plant new, our new seeds of intention, as we turn within, and as we move within our cycles of growth. A very supportive day to allow us to process the energy changes we have seen this week and allowing us to stand in our own in a place of sovereignty, in a place of love, in a place of commitment to ourselves and the ways that we turn up and act. Until tomorrow. Goodbye, my friends.